everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to calculate a sample variance and standard deviation. We're going to use the formula to do it. So remember that the variance is mathematically just the average of the squared distances of each value from the mean. So we're going to take the values of our observations, figure out how far they are from the mean, we're going to square them, and then we're going to divide them by n minus 1 in order to make the sample variance and standard deviation a good estimator of the population value. When we move from the variance to the standard deviation, you'll notice the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance, and that gives us a good measure of the amount of variation or dispersion within a set of values. So let's do some calculations. Okay, so I'm simply using Excel as my as my uh, notepad here. So what I have is I have data for the number of days off that nine different employees took. And so I'm going to work first this variance formula. And so I know it's the sum of each value from the mean squared. So the first thing I did was I summed my values. I divided them by an n, which was 9, the number of observations, and I come up with x bar, or the sample mean of 32. So I'm going to take each value, and I'm going to subtract it from the mean of 32 to give me that distance. And I know that I'm negative 8. 27 minus 32 is negative 5. 41 minus 32 is going to give me 9. 36 will give me 4. I have a negative 4 here. I have 10 here. I have 3 here. Remember, 25 minus 32 is going to give me a negative 7. 30 minus 32 is going to give me a negative 2. And because we're looking for the average, in other words, this Greek letter here says sum all. If I summed all of these, I would get to zero. So I'm going to now square each one of these distances, and that gets rid of my negative signs. So negative 8 squared gives me 64. This gives me 25. 9 squared is 81. 16 for both positive and negative 4. 10 squared is 100. This gives me 9, 49, and then 4. So I'm going back to my formula. I'm saying the sum of x minus x bar squared. So now I'm going to sum this column, and I'm going to get 364. So now I've got, a f so I've got the top of this. Now I'm going to divide it by n minus 1. Our n was 9. So now I'm going to take 364 divided by 8 is going to give me 45.5. And this is the variance. And so I need the standard deviation. And I know the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So I'm going to take the square root of 45.5, and I'm going to end up with a standard deviation of 6.745. And that was this piece right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you calculate the variance and standard deviation of sample data using the formula. As always, I hope you found this useful. And thanks for watching.